In this video, we are going to explore the dark tales of the Grand Canyon. A place where nobody is safe. No matter how small or big, something is out to get you. So let's welcome in the new predators and say goodbye to our old friends. The canyon is a beautiful yet sinister place with dark caves hiding evil creatures and relics of a life that once lived here. How on earth can anything survive? Now to fully understand this ecosystem, we must go back to the beginning. It started with a 150 gallon tank I got off Craigslist for $100. With a lot of sand, some rocks, some cacti, and then I added a waterfall, and the desert was complete. From toads to lizards, queen ants to millipedes and beetles, this ecosystem was thriving with life. But on day 100, I decided to play God and flooded the tank. And for two more months, I kept these guys while working on Amphibia. And for the first time ever, they are all hanging out with each other without a worry in the world. Hmm? Like one happy family. And it breaks my heart to do this, but it's time to say goodbye. These guys were all wild caught and winter is coming and they need time to find a place to sleep before the ground freezes. And that's when Amphibia was born. With Crush, Morpheus, and the king of Amphibia, Bruce. But I had to play God once again and create a drought. Which brings us to today in the Grand Canyon. I cut up some foam boards and glued them together, then shaped it with a wood burner and a hair dryer. Then I covered everything in tan grout and added color with cement dye. And it comes out looking like this. few final touches and it's complete. Now it's time to add in the cleanup crew. Mealworms. They will eat all the dead leaves and create fresh soil for the plants, then transform into beetles for our future predators to eat. Roly polies. Will eat animal poop and help keep the tank clean while also being food at the same time. Now let's meet the predators. This is Kamala, the rattlesnake. She quickly begins exploring the canyon and all of its dark hiding places. She found her way into the heated cave, but she's not alone. This is Zip Tie, the king snake. And his main diet is rattlesnakes, but he's in the shedding process and can't see. Kamala got lucky this time. During the day, she basks in the sun, but come night, she goes skinny dipping in the pond. Now this is the vinegar room. He's got a tail like a rat and pinchers like a crab. With tiny little beady eyes, he's practically blind. He uses his claws to move the dirt and lives underground. And his front legs are like antennas, picking up vibrations of his prey. And as you can see, he really has to work to find his food, as he's always one step behind the crickets. But sometimes, 
the crickets go with a do not move approach. And as long as they stay still, they are safe. He moved. Big mistake. Just like a spider, he sucks the life out of his victims. In case you ever try to catch one of these, watch out. They spray acid out their butt. Moving on into the hidden cave, a baby mouse is sleeping in his nest. This poor guy has had a rough life. Meet Pee Wee. I've had him since he was born and Kamala since he's here. She circles Pee Wee and tastes him with her tongue before leaving. But Kamala isn't the only predator here. As this predator makes his way down the rocks, being as quiet as he can be, a grasshopper makes his move. Until today, I didn't know grasshoppers would eat mice. But the mouse is putting up the fight. Pee Wee barely escapes with just a bite mark on his butt. Now fast forward two weeks later and Pee Wee is doing great. His hair has grown in to cover his scar. But the next day, Kamala returns. Pee Wee quickly moves to hide under his nest. Then she tastes him with her serpent tongue and leaves the cave. Perhaps Pee Wee isn't what she's hungry for. So Pee Wee cleans himself up and decides it's time for him to leave the cave as well. He climbs to the top to get a good view of the environment. Then gracefully makes his way down to the bottom. Ah! He'll explore every inch of the enclosure, including this spider cave. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, I added a big ass spider. Meat thing, the bird eater. Pee Wee quickly leaves, but nighttime is approaching and he needs to get back to the safety of his cave before it's too late. 